Good afternoon. I'm David Bayada, the CEO here at Bayada Home Healthcare. Today is Tuesday, May 12th, and this is your CEO update. I just want to start by, as I do often at the beginning of each week, recognizing all the incredible hard work, commitment, courage, resilience, uh, and just energy. There's so much hard work happening in both in your personal lives and in your professional life, in the, in the homes of your clients as well as your own homes. And for that, I feel really grateful and really inspired. And as we close out Nurses Week, um, it's a time where uh, I certainly don't want it to be the only time where we're expressing gratitude for all of our clinicians, but it is a time where we can be particularly reflective on um, all of the heroism and all of the incredible care and compassion that you all demonstrate every single day. And I wanted to ask Nora Triola, our Chief Clinical Officer, to provide some reflections as we uh, approach the end here of Nurses Week 2020. Nora? Thank you. It's my privilege again to join you and on a, a day that is very special, uh, certainly to me and I'm sure to many of you. And that's, that's May 12th. May 12th is... Um, Florence Nightingale's birthday 200 years ago. And Florence uh, at that point in time was managing her, her own pandemic in the Skoltari um, hospital in, in Crimea, trying to keep all the wounded soldiers alive. And I, I think back to, uh, to what she faced, learned about it in school, read about it a lot, learned lessons from her about how to use data and how to care for um, our clients in, in some of the ways that we talk about today. So being attentive to that hand washing, being attentive to the environment um, and making sure that cleanliness and sanitization is always important and in the forefront of what we do. She's often referred to as the first infection prevention nurse as well. Mm. So it's, it's, a, it's a great uh, day to think and reflect on why we went into nursing and, and most importantly, what we're doing here today. Um, you know, we are the face of, of uh, the, the COVID-19 response. Um, many have chosen to sit on the sidelines and not our team of, of nurses and other clinicians. We've certainly uh, delivered care and services in, in the way that's so special for us and, and really differentiates ourselves. And so just want to recognize each of you uh, during this special day and say, you know, once again, that I couldn't be more proud of uh, each and every one of you. And you truly are the heroes on the home front and for which I am ever so grateful. Thanks, Nora. Thanks for sharing. I want to leave our viewers with what I think is one of the most inspirational messages in Bayada's history and in honor of Nurses Week this year, but also in an effort to continue to attract compassionate, excellent, and reliable clinicians all over the world. We decided to take advantage of a philanthropic donation to fund uh, the return of the Bayada TV commercial, which first, first ran over 20 years ago, but I think in the current environment, Society is craving exactly what this commercial was intended and still uh, so poignantly represents. And that's a sense of hope, a sense of well-being, a sense of safety, a sense of trust, a sense of reliability um, that our Bayada nurses and all of our Bayada clinicians demonstrate every single day. Enjoy this commercial and keep an eye out for it on your local TV. Bayada nurses. I'll be there. Their tradition was forged on the battlefield. Today, they serve in a field just as challenging. The home front, where often getting the call means going beyond the call. Bayada nurses, not everyone can follow in tradition's footsteps, but those who do are heroes to those they care for. Bayada nurses, truly heroes on the home front.